Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. It is Friday the 12th of the 2nd, 2016. Okay, in this video, we will talk about Tropical Cyclone Titana, however you want to pronounce it, Category 1 currently, which is about 1,000 k's east of Cairns, northeast of Mackay. There's been some rumours floating around that this cyclone may come down and hit southeast Queensland. Well, in this video, I'll point out why that's very, very unlikely at this stage. So you can see on the current satellite imagery that there is very strong convection around the centre or the low level circulation centre, which is in about the centre of shot where I've got my um, pointer there at the moment. And this is forecast to increase in intensity. We'll move on and show you why. Here is the latest forecast track from the JTWC Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. You can see here on the 12th, which is today, in its forecast to have 60 to 65 knots there. Um, and gusts up to 70 to 80 knots. Um, as this system progresses over the next 24 hours towards the south southeast, it is forecast to increase up to a possible category two um, with wind gusts to possibly 80 knots. After that, the system is likely to um, be impacted by vertical wind shear and, and weaken dramatically after, after 48, 48 to 72 hours and then it becomes a low pressure system down here, which is say east of uh, Fraser Island there, well east. That's current from JTWC. Let's have a look at the Bureau, Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, they agree, they're on the same path, increasing to a category two system um, by tomorrow morning, maintaining category two system uh, during, during tomorrow, which is Saturday and into early um, Sunday and then um, rapidly decreasing back to a, an ex-tropical cyclone um, and a low pressure system there. You can see the bottom of starting to pull this track map back towards Sandy Cape on their last day on the 15th. That's a long way ahead. So let's move on now and have a look at the write-up briefly, just quickly the write-up that JTWC have written and this might, might help. Okay, so we currently have the, the low level circulation centre High confidence in the initial position, 55 knots current system. Uh, multiple agencies agree, we all agree with that. Upper level conditions still favourable for development in the short term. Um, and the primary steering mechanism is, is uh, induced by mid-level ridge. To forecast a shift towards and track to the south. There's Taurus, she's not real happy today, she's teething. Um, okay, so if we move on, the vertical wind shear is set to increase as the, as the cyclone interacts with the mid to upper level trough. What does this mean? It means that winds from the mid part of the atmosphere will rip the cyclone apart, coupled with strengthening exhaust from TC Winton, Win, Winston. sorry. And eventually they're claiming that, that tropical cyclone Titana will dissipate within 72 hours. Now that doesn't mean that it totally disappears, it means the cyclone does and we could be left with a low level circulation centre. I'll move on to explain that. Model guidance is in poor agreement so we're a low confidence forecast there with what they're saying there. So what's all the hype about? Well one of the models over here, this is just via weather zone, this is the EC model and it does show this system edging towards Queensland on Sunday, I do believe, or into Monday. We have a look there, late Sunday. Um, you can also see that it's only about a 994, 992 system. Um, it's most likely to have weakened out further than that uh, at this stage. But look, that position's not too bad. And you can see that it's well east of, of southeast Queensland and the Queensland coast. So let's move on over here and we'll have a look right over in the corner of the screen. Now this is Monday, this is the wind streams for Monday in the 850 levels. It's still showing after the cyclone dissipates and becomes an ex-tropical cyclone, all this is showing is a low level circulation centre. That means the entire top half or three quarters of the cyclone has been ripped apart. There is hardly any convection around it and it just becomes a circulating surface low, if you like. Again, well east of southeast Queensland and Queensland. Yes, once these systems fall apart like this, it then becomes steered by influences in the lower levels. So then we do anticipate that the system will track north to northwest 
as an LLCC, not a cyclone, low level circulation center or surface low. If we move on here, you can have a look on Tuesday, you can see then it's opposite about Rockhampton, still well offshore. So what would this generally mean? It would mean that the system out here is cranking away anyway um, off Queensland. So there's a ridge being maintained along the Queensland coast here with strong southeast winds. As this system tracks south, these winds will be maintained. As the system um, dissipates and comes a little bit closer to southeast Queensland, we may see an increase in southeast winds and showers along the Queensland coast, particularly over southeast and central Queensland districts. Apart from that, Queensland's looking relatively dry except for a few coastal showers and possible storms here around the central coast over the weekend, but very, very isolated activity there. Anyway, I hope that clears up any forecast indiscrepancies that we're seeing out there at the moment. Um, everyone's in good agreement, the official agencies are in good agreement that this system will increase in the short term to a Category 2, then dramatically weaken as it gets ripped apart. The remaining circulation will possibly edge towards the southeast Queensland coast and then take off towards the north as be barely identifiable on satellite imagery. We will see it on the VISSAT as a circulation with hardly any rain or anything around it. The winds will drop down to about 20 knots, I'd say. So no dramas. All good. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video update.